Okay, let's explore this contribution margin question. And this is really one of an incremental analysis approach dealing with a constrained resource. Product S has a contribution margin of $159 per unit. It requires three hours of machine time, while product T requires four hours of machine time and provides $212 of a contribution margin per unit. Now, what we're asked to do is what you see below on the required part. It tells us that if the capacity of machine time is limited to 1,150 hours and only one product can be produced, what is the maximum amount of contribution that could be generated? Okay, let me show you how you would answer that. Now, the answer is 60,950. And here's how you should lay out the analysis. The contribution margin per unit, list them, list what that is for each product, and figure out what the machine hours required per unit is. From there, we know the contribution margin per machine hour. Okay, since both products generate the same amount of contribution margin per machine hour, any production mix combination of S and T will yield 60,950, the maximum amount of contribution margin available on 1,150 machine hours. So take 53 times the 1,150 machine hours. Okay, and that's how you would solve this particular exercise dealing with calculating a maximum contribution margin when you have a constrained resource.